Markets went really good. Before I start work, let's do a question of the day. I had a really good one last night. The question was, what do you think about sacrificing some years of your life, doing something that creates pain, something that you really don't like that much, but it will set you up for the future? In other words, work hard, work now, work crazy, doing something that you kind of a pain in the ass for some kind of future redemption. My answer to which is, it can be effective as long as you really thought it out. I see a lot of people do that and they really haven't put a lot of thought into it. They haven't figured out what they actually want to do in the future. And it happens on differing timescales as well. The whole entire job thing and then retire at 65, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in traditional retirement. The only people who retire are the people who don't like their lives. Why the fuck would you retire if you're doing something that you love? You don't retire. There's no I don't have a fucking retirement plan. I'm never going to stop doing mini lessons. I'm never going to stop teaching, writing, learning, sharing. So the first thing is if you're looking for some sort of future redemption like a retirement, plan that out. Really think about that. I'm going to show you a little thing that I do always. Always write things out. Just write down what you know and let what you know grow. It doesn't have to be complicated. Just get it on paper. I would do a now, four years into the future, eight years into the future. This is literally a very basic diagram I just got from the Snapchat question that he sent through. So now into four years is not inspiring work so that in four years from now I can start doing something inspiring. And fill it with as much detail as you know. So we know that this would be job, this would be trading. This is the, the example, right? This would be the sacrifice, this would be the reward. Just get down as much as you can. And then what you need to do is ask yourself some questions. Get this. The quality of your life is determined by the quality of questions that you ask yourself. You've got to ask yourself high quality questions. As soon as you get it on paper, you have a new level of clarity and you can start to ask yourself some questions. The first thing I would ask is, how can I merge sacrifice and reward? How can I do this now? First question, how can I live off trading now? Not in fucking four years from now. How can I do it now? Why, why would you not ask that question? You might have to go and get a job in trading. Write down answer, answer, answer. And just keep writing down all the, different, all the different ways. In every single answer that you write down, you have a new level of awareness. Eventually, you write down enough, you have enough awareness, you lead you on to the next question. You have like a domino effect, like, a, like an avalanche effect, and you come up with the next question. Because after you put a little bit of thought into it, how can I live off trading now, you might write answers that don't really inspire you. You might not be that enthused. You might not get the goosebumps in the back of your arms. The next question is, would I even love to do that work every day? Answer the question. Be honest. And you might get an answer that really wasn't what you thought when you had the fantasy of this fucking future, right? So the next question I would ask is, what are the drawbacks, challenges, hurdles, and predators I will face doing this? And you want to list them out. You will have a conservation of pains and pleasures, predators and preys in your life. If you think that you're going to get to some point in the future and it's going to be easy and cushy, you have a fantasy. When you stack up the drawbacks, challenges, hurdles, predators about some particular thing that you might have had a fantasy for in the future, you will neutralize your infatuation with that particular fantasy and you'll be much more grounded and present and clear in the mind, you'll be able to make smarter decisions. If you're infatuated, you're not, you don't have full awareness, you have half awareness. The next one I would ask is, am I inspired to face these challenges in this particular fantasy reward of the future? Don't let pleasure or pain interfere with the pursuit of your purpose. You will have a conservation of pleasures and pains no matter what you do with your life. If you're not doing something that's really important to you, you will avoid pain. Avoid pain, seek pleasure, act like an animal, you'll never really make it in that particular field. Because to make it in any field, to make it to the top of the game, you've got to face the challenges and you've got to be inspired by tackling them. So the process is look at the diagram that you've drawn, add detail to it where possible, look at the questions, answer more questions, keep coming up with questions. I would be looking at this guy and asking 100 questions in this little thing. Four years is a long time. A lot of things can happen in four years. During this time when I'm sacrificing my fulfillment doing this bullshit, I would be asking, what if someone got ill? What if I got ill? What if mum or dad? What if the missus got ill? Would I have to support them financially? What are the probability of that happening? What's my contingency for that? Because when you go and do something like doing a four year sacrifice, you gotta be aware of the risks. You could get fucking trapped doing that for the rest of your life. A lot of people do that. Do you have a partner? Are you a fucking pervert on Tinder? Are you fucking a heap of chicks? What is the probability that they're gonna get pregnant? You're gonna have end up with a kid? That could put a fucking spanner in the works. Again, if you haven't put it on paper, if you haven't planned for that, haven't built a contingency and done some probability, you're running like an animal, you're really not thinking about it. You're probably escaping the fact that you're unfulfilled. Setting up fantasies in the future where you think it's going to be easy and fun and happy and money's going to fall from the sky. You want to, you want to get grounded. If you want to master your life, you need to get grounded. Also, if you want to go and neutralize some of your fears or anxieties or concerns, create conti Let me show you my fucking contingencies. I've planned this. I've planned everything. 
Someone asked me on Snapchat this morning, but how did you get a good life like that? I fucking planned it. I planned it and I worked every day. Well, pretty straightforward. This is my master planning documents on a Google Drive thing like this. It's got all the areas of life, every single area plus a contingency plan document. If I were to print this out, which I do want to do, I want to print them out and get it bounded. It's about a 90,000 to 100,000 words. It's a, it's a novel, which is my master plan for life. You don't, you're not going to accidentally fall into a brilliant life. You're not going to accidentally stumble upon mastery in life. You've got to plan it. I can't believe how many people don't plan things. And you've got to have attention to detail. The finest things, I plan everything. When I go to the counter, when I'm about to buy something, and they say, would you like to use the Visa or the Amex? I don't think about it. It's already in my contingency plan. I've done the fucking calculations. These are the calculations that I've done in the steps. If it's less than 3% surcharge, I do Amex. If it's plus 3%, I use Visa. This little step that I did once, years ago, allows me to fly business class, first class, all around the world without having to pay for first class tickets, right? I have a contingency for receiving phone calls. My fucking phone rings all day, every day. I can't stand it. I don't pick up. If you're a friend of mine, you understand. I don't reply. I don't pick up my phone ever. It's stressful for me, and over a great enough period of time, I realize that it actually doesn't move me toward my end game, picking up phone calls. So I don't, I don't pick up. I'm not inspired to pick up. I'm not serving the person to pick up. I've got a special uh, voicemail message and they know what to do. It's all planned. It's all planned ahead of time, but I don't deal with that shit. Fuck that. You plan everything. Put contingencies in place. Anyway, that was a little bit of a tangent, but the message is this. Get things out of your head, put them on paper, ask wise questions. It will change your life just doing that. Uh, when you keep things in your mind, whirling around, try and process things in your mind, it is not as effective as getting it out on paper. You will have new levels of clarity doing that. And the question thing, asking yourself wise questions, there is a tremendous phenomenal amount of power in that. You have more answers within you than what you realize. So if you're gonna do a sacrifice, that's cool. You can get good results by doing a sacrifice, but know the nature of the game. Know where your end game is and know what the risks are. Work is going very good. I can't wait to show you guys the new lesson of IP. It's absolutely ridiculous. Race is going good. I've got a backyotomy from this motherfucker. And I have been looking at these scallywags. Check this out. There's three people on that jet ski, two people on the biscuits, five people for one ski. I don't know if that's legal. But better to ask for forgiveness than permission anyway. It looks like they're having a bloody good time.